Welcome to Olympic National Park. We're gonna be spending the entire weekend exploring what this beautiful national park has to offer and finding what we feel are the top things that you can't miss. Things that you definitely need to add to your itinerary. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video as well because we're gonna add in some honorable mention items that we don't quite have time for, but you might wanna consider doing. All right, we are here at our first stop in Olympic National Park, Rialto Beach, and we're here for a little hike. So let's get walking. Look at this foam. Ew. It looks like fat. Like whale fat. Look at it jiggle, look at it jiggle. <laughs> Gross. So we came to Rialto Beach to do one specific hike, one specific very popular hike, and it is called the Hole in the Wall Hike. Now you can probably imagine maybe what that is or maybe you've already heard of it, but it's supposed to be about 1.1 miles I heard out and then the same thing back. So, so far so good. I mean, look at the scenery. It's cloudy, it's kind of rainy, but I feel like that's what it's supposed to be like here in uh, Washington. That's kind of a big gap. Let's see if she can do it. Are you close? Yeah. Meg really likes the rocks, which by the way, this hike is very rocky, so make sure you have a nice pair of shoes. You're not going to want to wear, if it's in the summer, you're not going to want to wear sandals. Um, a nice pair of hiking shoes is still needed, even though it is a beach. Guys, we made it to the hole in the wall. Okay, pro tip for this hike. Pay close attention to the tides. You can look it up online or on the National Park website, but it's gonna be key that you hit this spot in low tide because where we are standing right now would not be accessible during high tide. And it would be really disappointing if you hiked all the way out here and weren't able to see this hole in the rock. Which, it sounds kinda lame, but it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Fitness. Also, be prepared to do a little bit of climbing over some logs. Okay, hike is done. Final stats coming in at a little over two hours. My watch said 3.7 miles for the, the whole hike. A little bit longer than what it said online, but honestly a great hike. And keep in mind, two, a little over two hours was us going very, very slow. To be honest, you could probably do this hike in a in a brisk 90 minutes if you wanted to. Meg, what'd you think? That was awesome. Uneven terrain, kind of sand walking the whole time, which just works the legs in a different way, which is kind of nice, but it was beautiful. Overall, great hike, great stop one on our Olympic National Park tour, Rialto Beach. All right, second stop on our Olympic National Park tour. We have just made it to the Ho Rainforest. And I just wanna say before we get started, even just driving around here in Olympic National Park is amazing in itself. We saw some elk on the way in. 
the, tr the roads are cut through these huge trees and it's absolutely amazing. But right now we are here at the Hall of Mosses Trail in Ho Rainforest. And as you can see, the moss is very prevalent. So we are super excited to uh, see what this trail is all about. So the Hall of Mosses Trail is about a 0.8 mile loop. So it's not super long and it's very accessible for everybody. Super flat, kind of a gravel trail. So you could probably even do it in tennis shoes, but look at, look at that. It is so green and mossy as, as it probably should be. <laughs> So kind of a little interesting fact is you'll see a lot of these trees that are kind of lifted up off the ground like this one here behind me. And oftentimes that is because most of the trees in this particular forest grew on top of a tree that had fallen and it used its nutrients, the decaying tree that had fallen, it uses its nutrients to grow a new tree. And that's why they look lifted off the ground because once that old tree completely decays, there's just like a space underneath that new tree. Just made our way onto another trail here at the Ho Rainforest called the Spruce Nature Trail. But anyway, I wanted to give you my recommendations and my final verdict on this rainforest. I can see why everybody has it on their list of places to visit because it is truly amazing, especially the Hall of Mosses. It is unlike anything else. What I will say though is I could see how it could get pretty congested during peak season. So if you can even get here on like an off season time, we are here in the spring in April and it is awesome. There's like barely anybody on the trail. But anyway, busy season or not busy season, make sure you get here. It is totally worth it. All right, we made it here to Ruby Beach, which is another great beach just for a nice little stroll. Great spot just to enjoy some of the sea stacks and nature, as well as maybe try your hand at skipping some rocks as we found out Meg can't really do it. <laughs> I told you. Meg claimed that she couldn't skip a rock. <laughs> She's right. <laughs> Look at this. That's a should be a perfect rock skipper. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. But um, another great spot, a little different from the last beach that we were at, Rialto Beach, being that um, I feel like this one's just a little bit easier to walk on. You don't have that specific hike like the other beach does, but still a great spot. Got some tide pool action. I got two! Found a critter. Don't know what it is. I don't know if it's part of like a tide pool or something, but he's moving. I gotta go pull him back. Okay, buddy. Okay, get pulled back. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. Maybe a wave will get it. <laughs> there, come on. Pick him up. <laughs> you got him. Got him. That was unclear, Meg was saving some sort of life, some sort of sea creature. Okay, you ready for something super satisfying? Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, final, final review. This is a great beach for a nice walk. It's super easy to walk on, so definitely come check this place out. So our next stop is we have made it to Forks, Washington, which is actually where we're staying our two nights while we're exploring the national park. 
and forks really is special for one main reason. And that is twilight. Speaking of which, this is Bella's truck in the movie. And then we also have the truck that it was based off of in the book. Now, Forks is not just for those that are Twilight fans. Forks is also a great stopping point um, to stay if you're exploring the National Park, being that it is on the west side of the park. It's an easy access point for a lot of the cool places. As well as, it's just kind of a fun town to explore because I feel like it's kind of stuck in the 1990s. There's a ton of like old vehicles. You know, it's kind of, all the buildings are kind of that dated early 1990s feel, which is kind of fun. So Forks has a lot of great little gift shops as well as this great old school burger place called Sully Burners. Look at how good that looks. Great little spot here. All right, Forks is definitely worth a quick stop or maybe even a place to rest your head at night. On to the next. All right, we have just made our way to Mount Storm King. It's about eight o'clock in the morning and we are starting our hike with the goal to make it to the top of Mountain Storm King. Now, this is a, from what we hear, this is a little bit more of a advanced hike, being that it's about four miles round trip, so two miles up, two miles back, and there's about 2,100 feet of eleva elevation gain in just those two miles. So it's supposed to be fairly intense and potentially at the end, quite slippery. So we're gonna see if we can make it all the way to the top. Already shedding a layer. All right, taking a little pause here. The entire time we've been in Olympic National Park, it's been raining. And today is like the first time that it hasn't been raining. So hopefully we get a decent view at the top. Otherwise we might just be looking at some clouds. But either way, we're getting a good workout in. That's really all that matters, right? It's, it's cool. It's like but it's hopefully, cool. hopefully we get some good views for you. Okay, so we've made it to the point, wow, it's windy. We made it to the point in the hike where this hike kind of gets the name of being a difficult hike. And it's this point right here where it says end of maintained trail. This is when it gets steep and there's even a rope section. So we're just gonna ease our way through it. It's a little wet on the ground. If we feel uncomfortable, we'll turn around as always, stay within your comfort zone. But hopefully we can make it all the way to the top and get some good views. But if you're doing this hike, the end of maintained trail, that's where it gets difficult. Woo! I'll have to say, I think that was my favorite thing that we've done thus far in the National Park. Mount Storm King, add it to your list of things to do. It's amazing. I will say the reviews were a little dramatic. So just be aware that maybe some people over-dramatize the, the trail itself. With that being said, you always gotta go into every hike well prepared and know your comfort zone. If you're scared of heights, you might have a little bit more of a difficult time on this trek or this hike, but overall it's a very doable hike. Bring and gloves. oh yeah, as well as make sure to bring gloves. And other than that, it is an amazing trek and you need to add it to your list. On to the next. Okay, so we've just made our way off the Storm King Trail and now we are on the Mary Mere Falls Trail. 
which if your legs are feeling good I would highly recommend adding this to your itinerary being that they're so close together and this second trail the Mary Mirror Falls Trail is very accessible it's much less strenuous and it's supposed to lead to a pretty sweet waterfall look at how big this tree is Whew. All right, we have made it to Mary Mirror Falls. Pretty epic. As you can see, the flow on the water is really good right now, being that we are here in the spring. And there's nobody here. Perks of coming in the spring. Mary Mirror Falls, uh, easy way to see an amazing waterfall. Let's keep moving. Okay, so we are here at Lake Crescent, which is the same lake that we saw from the top of Mount Storm King. Now during this time of year, not too much is happening, being that's a little chillier, but during the summer, this might be a great place to add to your list of places to go, being that you can stay on a lodge right on the lake, swim, kayak, canoe. There's actually a trail that goes around the lake as well, so it might be a great place to add, especially if you're here in the summer. That is going to be it for our time in Olympic National Park. Hopefully you enjoyed following us along this weekend and more importantly, have some things to add to your list of places that you can't miss when coming to this national park. We'll see you on the next adventure. Look at all these elk! Hi buddies!